insufficient data. Well, we're gonna find out the hard way now. Oh, sorry, versus characters. Whoops. Yeah. Sephiroth. Uh, they have played 43 <laughs> games against Sephiroth. I mean, that could be anyone, though. It could be secondaries. I'm wondering, like, yeah, like dedicated Sephiroth mains. That's true. Because, you know, he's. Like, he's a popular character, but uncommonly played in bracket. True. But out of those, out of those 43 and games, not, they not have everyone, 70% of that. Not, not everyone is Tweak or Ken. That's right. I mean, Tweak, not really bringing out the Sephiroth very too often nowadays. Really sick with Kazuya. I mean, we, we saw, we saw he would do anything but Sephiroth versus, um, no, rather, we saw, we saw Sephiroth fall to, uh, Big Duck Hunt fan. Ah, that's right. Big what? Duck Hunt fan. Biggest Duck Hunt fan I've ever seen. Vaughn is not here to contest that, so big Duck Hunt fan. Congratulations. I mean, I'm pretty sure she's a breeze. I don't know. I don't know about like their player skill, like who's the better dog overall, but I think that's not a contention. Big Duck Hunt fan. All right, but let's see what Peko can do here. They do have the winning matchup versus Sephiroth, at least historical wise. Only losing 13 times in bracket. But this is Chicago. Their playstyle is a little different. You know, while we while we do mustard and ketchup here, they definitely go with the relish and onion, just like you that. Went, you went too Take low. Too low. I mean, that's really all they could do to stall. <laughs> and answering right back. All right, looks like, oh, really, really good spot dodge there from Peko. Toji is also Chicago's last hope in this uh, bracket, so. That's right. If, uh, if all my lovely Chicagis are still in the chat, please, now's the time. Cheer for your boy. Yes, drop those Blizzy emotes. Unless they fall to the New York Menace yet again. I mean, they fell to each other. That would do some terrible, terrible things to get here. I mean, having to take each other out in... Top six is not the worst thing. It's not, it's not. But it always sucks when you gotta face your friends, right? Uh oh. Woo! No way. Wasn't uh, wasn't close enough to get the sweet spot. Unfortunate. It, it's so. Like I'm thinking about it. Has there been a character like Sephiroth where they have sweet spots that vary in location depending on the move? Bar. No, Marv, you, you have to always tip her. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sef, like Sephiroth no. for the uninitiated, if he does like a stabbing attack, like forward air or down smash, where he's like stabbing the sword forward, it's the tipper that sweet spots. Ah. If he's swinging, like say forward tilt or um, or uh, up air, then yes. then the middle is the sweet spot. I don't think there's another character who does that. There is no other character in Smash that does that. Very very interesting design. I'm a fan. Okay, here we go. Ooh, really good air dodge. Oh no, just he really a little did, too that far. That really didn't make it. Did wow. not. Well, it's just because the air dodged, and they weren't able to like charge it up in time. Oh, okay. So it was an uncharged special. Oh, okay, but that's all right. You know what? We're fired up here for the last stock. Echo is still sitting pretty at zero percent. Toji Worm at eighty. It is kill percentage for Sephiroth. If Peko can just get a up smash, like very if that, if, that touch, out. if that touch shield, that might have been game to be honest. Yes. Wait it out. Okay, Wait what are they gonna do? It out. Excellent. With the Peko special, but good uh, not good enough. Well, Peko also had no rage. So. That's true. Well, it's also it's also a bad guy, you know. They always gotta have that second phase to them. Third phase sometimes too. Oh, oh my gosh, really good patience there from Toji. Good grab. Oh no. No way. Don't, no way. Don't thank you. <laughs> you know better. I mean, we know better, but sometimes we don't care enough to be patient. I mean, I assume Peko cares to keep his winner stock alert. Yeah. Here's a tournament stock alive. Okay. 
Oh, and Toji Worm just needs one good back here. Needs to get back on stage. What's the option gonna be? He did regrab. Oh no, not answered. Okay, oh. Why did that my send God. that way? Big wow. pardon. Whoa, okay. Oh, Toji Worm oh, playing excellently. Uh oh, uh oh. What are they gonna do Danger. here? Danger. Danger time. Okay, okay. I'm pretty sure, like. Oh! Toji Worm clutching it out. Pekka really upset about that. N not upset at the player, upset at themselves that they weren't able to like clutch I, that I out. would be too, damn. Of course. I just came so close. You were literally one one down tilt, probably like back throw a ledge away from getting a... Uh, right, but you don't want to go off stage against Sephiroth, especially when they can do that. I mean, they have had unfortunate luck in these last stream this, games. Yeah, this was a, that was a consequence of waiting way too long to actually commit yeah. to recovering. Yeah, it's, they. Beep. Oh, now that's a horrifying. That's the freest two frame of your life. But are we doing the run back? We are doing the run back. I don't think this is a good idea. <laughs> oh, where would you have taken them? I'm gonna be we, honest. We we don't see like we can't see with Toji Ban, but yeah. What? What stage, as Diddy, do you think would work best against Sephiroth, play tell? I don't think this was a bad choice. Like, if we're going, like, purely, like, hey, character-wise, great stage for both of them. Mm. But I think for the mental game, I mean, they, they did just lose on this, and they looked really upset. So maybe just for a mental refresher, a change of venue may not have been a bad idea. Like, I get where you're going with this, but this yeah. is also Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for the Nintendo Switch. And we will all... What the... Uh, and we will always run it back to PS2 if it's available. That's true. It is the New York Classic. The best neutral stage. Unfortunately. I feel some people in chat are going to tell me small battlefields and you couldn't be wrong. Couldn't be more wrong. I mean, that's... No, no, that's objectively correct. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> all right, Peko. Trying to get these good confirms here. Fortune getting clipped by that sword. Aha! Caught you, caught you re grabbing there, buddy boy. Now you'll think twice about doing that. Fortunately, didn't kill, so uh, yeah. Toji Worm is wise to it with nothing to show for it. All right, no jump. Duh! Oh, no way. That missed? Wow. Yeah, it wasn't fast enough. Good grab there from Toji. All right, Beko's really unable to call out those re-grabs. As Toji Worm's range now is too big. Now we're past the point for down tilt to true combo and up smash. Step off too late. Right. Okay, no re-grab. No punish there. As Diddy does not have any kill throws, wouldn't have made sense to throw. Back throw, back throw now would kill. Yes, at ledge. Oh my gosh, did that shield poke? I think he just dropped it. Ah, oh, unfortunate. That, that was a sweet spot. Yeah, I go so unhappy with that. But there we go, finally taking off that first stock. Oh yeah, I forgot about up tilt. That would've killed like 20% ago. Yeah. All right, Peko looking to report, uh, repeat this performance that they had with uh, Game 2 Dill. Bringing it back. Just to avoid that sword. Oh! Tried to chop him in twain. Okay. Ooh, good roll there. No. Okay. Toji not really going for it. Getting punished really hard for it. Might as well let it rip at that point. Whoa! No, no, no. Good patience, but a good, better spot dodge. Like, I, I, know these, I know these players know how to recover from that, but every time I just see them drop like a rock off the edge, I'm just like, oh, God. Right. I mean, knowing how to and then executing on it. Two different things. Oh, boy. Especially in the heat of battle here. As Peko just needs to avoid everything. A truly a boss battle. Alright, great neutral air. Finally getting that banana. I would say over relying on it, but it's just creating some really important distance. You say over reliance, that is just Diddy's neutral. Right. As in, that hasn't changed in Smash 4. Uh oh He just has better tools to capitalize off it now. Exactly. Wow, there we go. Finally going in there. That See, that's just the unfortunate case of uh, barrel sending up right. and not away. Oh, what? Oh, boy. It's, oh, that could be it. 
All right, managing to roll away, doesn't kill. He had to let go of shield there, too. Yeah. That should do it. There we go. Paco still in super deep, big yeah, kill He confirm. took a big, deep breath, just like, okay, yep. I'm still in it. Absolutely. Oh. You can still make this back at Super Smash Brothers. Never give up. Good job, boy. The ledge, no, with the roll-in! Paco, yeah. ow, 2 oh. He set that up with the peanut so roll thing. Ah. The set going to... Toph. All right, Toph. Bringing the Chicago scene all the way to New York. And a terrifying one at that. I've never seen a Sephiroth I, that smooth here in Tri-States. Why did I say Toph? I mean, it's it's, to it's Toji, Toji. Toji, I don't know why. You messed me up too, it's okay. <laughs> and then, no, I, I, I take the L on that one. I don't know why I said that. That's all right. Well, I might L for let's uh, move on here. I Toji works. I'm really, I'm really liking their Sephiroth a lot. Like, yeah, so it's, patiently. it's legit. Which, again, they started, they got to uh, pools primarily playing Sonic, which, you know, that's that's a good character combination to have. It is. I mean, you have a character that can break through zones, and then you have